So I've added the streets into our model, at least for the core area. Uh, it's a really big file and um, not sure if we need uh, everything outside of our core study area. Um, so let me I need to fix something here. We have parcel lines. Um, and so these are our streets. Um, I'm going to move it into a layer called streets. And you can see that uh, we sort of have filled the donut hole. That's sort of what make faces does. It makes every face. Uh, so what we need to do is just come in here and delete out these blocks. We're just interested in streets. So one of the things you can notice here, this is a this is an underpass. So the street is running underground. Uh, here we have the, the train tracks sort of running through. Um, all right, so here we have the parking lots. Um, that looks like a football field, not a parking lot. So, but I guess we picked up the track. Um, and there's some cleanup we'll do on, on this. Sometimes with a parking lot, you might wanna show the uh, actual stalls. Uh, it's a quick way to do that if you wanted to. Um, you basically just snap a measurement. You figure out how, how long it, you could count it on a narrow photograph, but I wouldn't recommend that. So you just sort of figure out how long it is. It's 116 feet. A stall width is about nine feet. So you divide it by nine. There's probably 13 spaces in there uh, or 12. And just with the move tool, tool I'm gonna copy this to this point and then I'll do 12 backslash um, and puts in the spaces on top of the face. Um, so they're there if you wanted to put in the spaces. So we have our colors. Um, we need to give the parking lots a color, sticking with this sort of gray theme. Um, let's call it in that, and we'll change it from color 003 to parking lots. One of the things that happens with SketchUp is if I turn on the parcels, um, the they're competing for the same sort of plane, and so you get this clipping. Um, what we do here, it's a quick way to solve it, is just to move it up. Um, and sometimes you only need to move it up like five inches. All right, so here's our downtown. Um, what I'm gonna do is just capture a nice view of this and save it, and we'll start, uh, we'll do a quick export and bring it into Illustrator, and we'll, um, Oh, and let's give the streets uh, a color too. Um, let's call it the darker shade of gray. So we'll call this streets. I think key to everything um, is sort of a nice uh, the view is just almost critical to uh, a nice looking um, illustration. So um, I would say one of the most important things is having a nice view. Uh, this is our downtown. We're gonna try and keep north relatively up, uh, reduce any type of confusion. Um, and so finding what you think is a view that kind of highlights everything that you want, uh, zoom in the right amount. Um, so I think maybe something like this. Um, I'll use a magnifying glass to just fine tune the, the zoom. So something like here, and what I'm going to do is um, under animation, sort of add a scene and uh, basically what we um, what we want to do is uh, kind of save this um, 
this view so if we ever move the camera around we can always just sort of come back to it um, and so as we add more detail we might want to re-export uh, but we're always working with the same thing so I'll go ahead and export this as a 2d graphic um, I'm going to create a um, either JPEG or PNG is, is fine uh, I'll call this a PNG file I'll just save it on the desktop and your resolution, you could use your view size, which is going to be um, your screen resolution or the, the pixels of the viewport. Um, if you're looking for print quality resolution, a uh, printer prints at about 300 DPI. Uh, and so what this is telling me, if I divide 2400 by 300, uh, I'm at about 8 inches wide is going to be um, print quality. Uh, what I want to do is lay this out on an 11 by 17 sheet of paper, so that's not going to, to do it. I need about double the resolution, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put it to about uh, 5,500. And just using a calculator here, if I do 5,500 divided by 300, I'm getting print resolution up to about 18 inches. Um, I'm going to anti-alias it. What that does is sort of smooths out the lines. Um, just gives it a nice sort of smooth finish. Uh, so I'll go ahead and export this image. And then I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator here and uh, create a new file for print. And we'll do tabloid size and we'll make it landscape. Um, so I'll go ahead and place uh, and now we'll just add some text. This and these are opportunity sites. So I'll do like almost a subtitle. Opportunity sites. And what I'll do is add a little uh, call-out box to each of these. All right, so we got these five. I'll just change this to a two. Let's call this one site three. This is site four. The other thing we do inside of Illustrators, we add our street names. Just gives us a little more control than the 3D text in um, inside of SketchUp. Call that one callouts. So I'll add a new layer here called street names. Um, so right down the middle here is York Street. There's a neat tool inside of Illustrator. It's called uh, 3D extrude. I'll just show you how that works. If I drag a, a rectangle under effect, I can do 3D extrude and bevel. And what I'm able to do um, is basically do like a 3D cube. And you can sort of see what's happening there. Um, we're going to use the same tool. We're not going to extrude it. Under the same menu is a thing called 3D rotate. Um, and the easiest way to think of this is this blue face is your SketchUp drawing. So if you try and match the perspective of, or the angle of tilt of your SketchUp drawing with this blue face, um, you can kind of get the street name to kind of look like it's sitting down on your map. Um, so that's York Street. Um, you kind of bring that down. Um, sometimes what we'll do here too, I, I mentioned this was an underpass. Um, doesn't quite look like it. Uh, we could do this in SketchUp where we could come in and drag the road underneath. Um, sometimes those types of things are just sort of easier to do inside of uh, Illustrator. Um, what I'm going to do here is kind of uh, basically 
kind of match the, uh, the road here. So if I do something like that, um, and basically what I want is a gradient black to white. Um, let's change the angle of this. We want the opposite direction. We want the dark part there, and then we'll just change the transparency to multiply um, and bring it down to like 30, maybe like 50%. Um, I'll bring it in tighter into the road. So there you kind of see we're getting a little darker as we get to the street. Uh, so there's little details like that that we'll clean up in uh, in Illustrator. So I think from here you do get that uh, tunnel effect. You can always play, play with the transparency a bit. So, um, so I could continue adding in the street names. Um, might get a little repetitive for uh, the tutorial here, uh, but this gives us a pretty good starting point for a uh, graphic to drop in the plan. I do have this clipping mask down here. If I wanted to uh, drag it up a bit, make a subtitle. So it's how we use SketchUp inside uh, Illustrator to uh, start to add in information that we want to add onto our drawing.